Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If your control key has suddenly stopped working, it can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you rely on shortcuts like Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V, and Ctrl CZ. The good news is that this issue can usually be fixed with a few troubleshooting steps. In this video, I'll walk you through several effective solutions to get your control key working again. Let's dive in. Solution one, check for physical damage and clean the keyboard. Before jumping into software fixes, it's important to check for any physical issues with your keyboard. Dust, debris, or even worn out keys can cause the caudal key to stop functioning. If you're using an external keyboard, disconnect it and clean it thoroughly using compressed air. If you have a laptop, gently remove any debris around the key. You can also try pressing the key multiple times to see if it's stuck. If possible, test a different keyboard to determine whether the issue is with the hardware or software. Solution two, restart your computer to fix temporary glitches. A simple restart can sometimes resolve minor bugs that affect the keyboard's functionality. Restarting your computer clears temporary system errors and resets background processes that might be interfering with your control key. After the reboot, test the key again to see if the problem is resolved. Solution three, update or reinstall keyboard drivers. Outdated or corrupted keyboard drivers can be a major reason why your Cottrell key isn't working. To update the drivers, open the device manager by searching for it in the start menu. Expand the keyboards section, right-click on your keyboard, and select update driver. Choose the option to search automatically for updates. If updating doesn't work, try uninstalling the driver and restarting your computer. Windows will automatically reinstall the driver upon reboot, which may fix the issue. Solution four, check and disable sticky keys or filter keys. Accessibility settings in Windows, such as sticky keys and filter keys, can sometimes interfere with normal keyboard functions. To check this, open the control panel and navigate to ease of access, then make the keyboard easier to use. Make sure options like turn on sticky keys and turn on filter keys are disabled. If they were enabled, turn them off, save the changes, and test your control key again. Solution five, perform a system file check SFC to repair corrupted files. If your control key still isn't working, there might be corrupted system files causing the issue. To fix this, open command prompt as an administrator and type SFC slash SCANNOW, then press enter. This command scans your system for corrupted files and automatically repairs them. The scan may take a few minutes to complete. Once it finishes, restart your computer and check if the control key is functioning properly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech troubleshooting guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.